Welcome to In Spotlight. I'm Shirley Lin. Today we're meeting Kate Xu of Design for Change, but here we are, and this just looks like a coffee shop on the outside. So this is a really interesting place. But uh, let's go meet Kate. She's right inside. All right, let's go. All right, so now we're meeting Kate right here, Kate Xu, Hi. who is the uh, the what. The starter of Design for Change (DFC Taiwan), yes, which is a global movement uh, encouraging kids to think about how they can make change to the world, right? Yes, and then to put into action. That's in one line. Yes. <laughs> But first of all, we're going to have Kate tell us a story that has made an impact on you. Yes. Well, uh, I've seen this. I've read a story uh, years ago. Uh, it's about how a little uh, a girl. Well, she doesn't like drawing, just like me. I mean, I can't draw, but during her art art class,、um, she was forced to draw, and she sat there and she didn't know what to do. She was thinking, okay, so I have no idea. She's very frustrated and she's even a little bit angry.、Mm -hmm. And there's a little there's a teacher who just walked by and said, "Oh, Vashti, can you draw something?、Uh, anything, anything. Well, just show me that you know." Uh, you have, you know, something to tell us, okay? And Vashti was so angry, and she was thinking, "I don't know what to draw. I don't like drawing." So she made a dot. She made a very big dot on the paper, okay? What color? Well, it's it's black, maybe.、Oh, okay. uh, I don't know. I, I don't know what、This、color. This is a true story. No, no. It's oh, a, it's a a story from a picture book. Okay. Yeah, continue. So then the teacher was saying, "Okay, that's a very beautiful dot. Okay, please sign it." Okay, so Vashti signed it, and she was、uh, the teacher just frame it up, and a a week later, Vashti saw that、uh, her picture being framed, and she was very very shocked, and she was happy, and she was surprised. She was saying. I can make a better dot than that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So she saw that and she started drawing. She、mm. started to make purple dot, yellow dot, green dot, blue dot. She made a beautiful display as a、uh, exhibition about all the dots she's made. It's in sculpture. It's in.、Uh, she made. She made a picture of the dots without、uh, painting the dot. So she made, you know, the dots and everything around the dots. So make it makes it seem like, like there's an invisible,、out. yeah, the dot is standing out.、Uh -huh. And she was very creative. And then during that display, during her show, there was a little boy who walked by, and she said,、eh, "No, he said to、uh -huh. to Vashti, saying, 'Wow, you're such a great artist. I can't even draw a line. I'm horrible. I can't draw a line without rulers.'" And then Vashti was saying, "Well, show me." So the little boy doodled, and it was horrible. It was, you know, like a squeaky little squeaky line. line. Yeah, yeah. But then Vashti saw it, and she said, "It was a beautiful line. Sign it." Okay. Okay. So there begins another adventure, which、right. I'm not going to talk about. But that really inspired me. It says everybody has the power of I can. Everybody, you know, can be encouraged to. Show their inner power, inner superpower. We're all born born superheroes.、Um, yeah, so I really like that story. That that is a great story. Thank you. So it's <laughs> like a domino effect, right?、Yes. So once the girl, you know, because you build up her confidence, then she went on to help build up the confidence of another boy. Yes. And then it becomes like a ripple effect, yes, right? Yes. Exactly. So has this story helped you with what you're doing, design for change? Yes, definitely.、Uh, yeah, it shows、way? me. Oh well, it shows me in two different ways. One,、uh, the role of a teacher. Okay, the teacher can be an empowering,、uh, empowering person in in that a children's well, uh, uh, all children's life. I mean, the teacher is basically well, her words can be devastating. Okay, but it can also be inspiring. Yeah, it can be supportive. I mean, depending on how a teacher thinks and how the teacher acts, and in the story, I think even though the teacher just showed up in one page, but I think her words were so encouraging, and I really liked it.、Uh, it made me start thinking: Was I a very supportive teacher when I was teaching? And、mm. 
well, it can be it, it can mean everything to、mm. to a child. And then for another fact that a child is once a child is empowered, she or he can start moving on and then giving other people. Um, empowering other other people, and I really like the fact, like you said, the domino effect.、Mm. So the story actually inspired me in two different ways, and I really, yeah, I liked it. All right,、mm. right. Kate is、um, a senior high school English teacher. Yes. And then,、um, should I say, six years ago, when you、yeah. happened upon. While you was like googling, I don't know, just like on the internet. Yeah. You it was came upon.、Tech. Yeah. Oh, it was a TED. TEDx talk.、Uh, it was TED India. In, India. Yeah, in 2009. Uh huh.、Yeah. And you want to go on from there? Just what is Design for Change, and you、oh. know how you were, yeah, inspired.、Uh, right. Well, in the beginning, I I was a high, junior high school, a senior high school teacher, and I really liked my children. I I enjoyed teaching, but then I was really frustrated because I don't know、uh, how to. Uh, inspire my children to let them know that your role is not about getting good grades. It's about doing good and doing well. So it's about two things, and I don't know how to do that. I I don't know if there's anything I can do. And I saw my. It was very shocking, you know, when I see my students. They cannot. I mean, they they understand what what are the.、Um, uh, Or、are the reasons behind global warming? For example, they know they can write all about it, but during、uh, during class, during class breaks, and, and you know、uh, after class, they really don't bother to turn off the lights, and they don't really care about turning off the <sighs> AC. <laughs> so it's one thing to know. You know the reasons behind all the problems, but there's another to actually start doing something、yes. to change that problem. So I saw that, and I I was really shocked, and I thought, wow, these are the students who actually、uh, made a really really good grades, and you know they they're、uh, basically everybody will think those kids are the role models for everyone, but deep down I know there's got to be more、mm-hmm. than grades and everything than than just what you have、uh, right now. You have so much more you can give out to the society、right. to the world. In, even though you're just a student, you know so, you're a different kind of teacher. You know,、uh, I mean, we know about、uh, all the typical Taiwanese teachers who just care about the kids' grade, getting good grades, and all that, and and putting pressure on them. But you're a different kind of teacher well, to start off with. Okay, thank you.、Oh. I I try to be because I I guess I I was under a lot of pressure during、uh, you know、uh, studying,、yeah. and I wasn't really a a good student、uh, in making good grades per se. So I tried my best to become a good citizen, and I like that. I think it's very important. So when just when I was really frustrated, I saw a TED talk、uh, from Kiran Birsetti. She's a、uh, high well, she's a head teacher and founder of the school called Riverside School in India. She is an amazing person. I mean, when I saw her TED talk, she talked about how to you know make children the. Well, the, the change makers and how to give them the how to make them and empower them. And I really, really, insp- I was really inspired by her talk, and I was crying. Right. And then I and thought. And you wrote her an email. Yeah, I wrote an email. I and thought I should, I should at least thank her for doing this. Right. Yeah. But the thing was that she went more by saying, "Why don't you start the same thing, Design for Change, in Taiwan?" Yes. First time you were like, oh,、um, no thanks, right? No thanks.、Uh, I was totally freaking out. I didn't know <laughs> what to do.、Yeah. So then, what made you change?、Uh, what made me change? Your,、uh, yeah, your, your well, mind. Well, the first thing is that when I when I saw her re- re- reply me so in such a short notice, um, it was what two hours that she replied me. She was so happy. She was energetic, and she was saying, "Wow, you're the first person from Taiwan who wrote me." And I was like, "What?" And I saw maybe thousands of hundreds of thousands of people who has you know watched her TED talk in Taiwan, and now you're saying I'm the first person in Taiwan who has wrote back. Really?、Bad. And it was it's、shocking. meant to be. That's, yeah, that's okay. fate. Yeah, that's fate. <laughs> So I thought, well, it's okay. I can start working,、uh, you know, making the prototype of DFC in my school. 
in my three classes, so I have a hundred and something students. And I thought, well, it could be a good start. And then if I fail, I could always write back to her saying, I tried, <laughs> I failed. Yeah. So no pressure, right? right? No harm done. Right. And she was very supportive, and my students was were very very supportive. They were more that. enthusiastic than you, than you were, right? Yes. <laughs> they said, "Let's do it." Let's yeah. Do it, okay. They are they are very surprised to know they have more to give than just becoming good students, obedient wow. students. And they did. We made wonderful stories, and they made great changes. And I believe. Well, well, there are there are some students of mine who came back and and told me, "Hey, do you know what? It's been what three years or four years since I graduated from high school, but DFC is actually one of the most standout home memory and the happiest、mm. that I that I had from my high school memory." So、wow. I like that. I I I, I was really honored. Yeah.、Right. So we did it. So、um, apparently, it involves four steps. Yes. You first.、Um, Feel like feel around, you know, feel、yes. a problem, and then you imagine. Yes. And then you do do something, and then share. Yes. Now, what's imagine again? I forgot. Okay, imagine is imagine ways to solve the problem. You can、okay. probably、imagine. have ten、right. different ways of solving the problem,、huh? and imagine、uh, to put down a plan for your solution. Okay, so. If if you only have a week, what can you do about the problem? You have to you have to act on it in a very creative way. Otherwise, you may not solve the problem, right?、Uh-huh. So one week,、uh, one challenge, you know, and lives to change. That's what we we wanted to achieve.、Uh-huh. Yeah, and then you actually go do it, right? Yes, you have to put the、it. plan into action,、yes. and then share.、Yeah. Now, what's the point of sharing? Like well, share with everybody else. Yeah, you can share、story. with everybody else about have you succeeded in changing、oh. the problem. If you have, then other people might copy. You、uh-huh. know, other people might replicate what what you have just done. But if you failed, yeah, it's okay. Other、uh-huh. people would know that. Oh, maybe that's not the way to go, or maybe that's not the way to go in your、uh, in in where you are, right? So maybe in my city, that works for me. Oh. Right. So no matter what, sharing is always part of uh, uh, just make bigger change, make bigger impact.、Mm. So I like that.、Yeah. Okay. Now, apparently, last year, okay, after six years、um, that you've been working at this DFC,、yes. last year you put together、um, a, sort of like an annual meeting, right? Yes. In which you invited、um, all these kids with successful. Stories yeah,、um, from change China, change makers、yeah. yes. from China, Hong Kong, Macau,、yes. and I'm from Taiwan,、yes. um, and and for them to share their stories. And actually, you had the whole thing hosted and organized by the kids, right? Yes. And they were on stage. They were the MC and all that kind of stuff. Did some of those kids also share their failure stories? I mean, oh, of course, yeah. I mean, some of the kids they talked about how they fail in the first year,、yeah. and then how they not give up.、Um, oh, so. It was beautiful. I love the stories where they not only told told you what they have done wrong or how they failed, but they also share with you what they did afterwards to to show that they will never give up on you know and then what、uh, other plans they have thought of and then have actually not been pulled down by、uh, the, the you know the, the failure、right. and they have started really. Um, to look at the problem in a different from a different angle, and then search for different resources, and then、mm. to to actually in the end fix the problem. So I I love those stories. And well, every year DFC Taiwan we host an annual、oh, ceremony. Oh, you do this、we、every do. year. But、uh, last year, okay, see the 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 activity、yes. is called Sea of Change. Yeah. And Sea of Change is the first. Uh, Asia, well, Southeast Asia. So C stands for Southeast Asia. Oh, yeah. And I was thinking it's like the ocean, the sea. Well, the, it can mean <laughs> both, yeah, of right? Course, it's of a course, pun. Of course. Yeah. So it's、um, the first ever Southeast Asia、uh, event, and that's hosted in Mandarin. So every global、uh, celebration is hosted in English, and then this year we,、uh, last year we had it in Mandarin, and so all the children who come will have to speak in the Mandarin. And then it was amazing. We have 800 people, okay,、wow. coming in to celebrate the change,、uh-huh. and the kids they are 
amazing. They, they we spend a year of interacting with each other and then coming up. I mean, they had to get they have to be interviewed and they have to be selected. Oh, okay, in to, order to, to be become able to share their story. Their, no, no, no. Oh. You have to be selected in order to become the committees of the of, of the organizers. Right? Oh. You have some of them are the MC, some of them, some of oh, them are the activity organizers. So everyone uh, has to, uh, they play different roles. So we have 12 amazing uh, sixth graders wow. who helped us. They're only sixth this. grade? Oh, yes. okay. Yeah. Now, maybe for those who are listening to the program instead of watching this program, um, what we're seeing here on uh, this poster is uh, the word C of change, S E A mm -hmm. of change. Um, and then there are all these kids' handprints all yes. over it, along with a dragon, a black dragon in the middle. Yeah. And what's this guy doing here? Well, he's holding oh. a ball, and then that, you know, oh. he's the dragon. So oh, he's the, a kid. Yeah, it's right? part of the dragon dance, right? Yeah. Yeah, with, yeah. The, with the guy kind of a holding. Got it. And yeah. then all these kids' handprints. Yes. Does this mean anything with the handprints here? Uh, well, Who thought first of all, like I would like to explain yeah. why a kid is standing here. We, you know, we always thought um, the Chinese culture and then uh, the, uh, all the Mandarin speaking countries, maybe we're from, you know, we're the descendants of a dragon, right? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So, it. yeah, so it symbolizes the tradi traditional Chinese culture. But then here's a kid leading the culture, meaning, ah. you know, the kid is the way of the future. And then it's not only about the future, that our kid is our present now, right? Mm -hmm. Our kid is our present. So it's very, very important. And then for these handprints of different colors, there are the children who share their